the past four years, the Blue Communities Programme has been building capacities in marine management in Southeast Asia. We've been working really closely with coastal communities there who are reliant on marine and coastal ecosystems for their livelihoods, their food security and well-being. By engaging with these communities, we've realised that a lot of the policies and management approaches there, they promise to achieve benefits for both people and planet, but actually achieving those win-wins is quite difficult in reality. By failing to consider these trade-offs, well-meaning initiatives can actually push people or the environment into serious harm, can increase inequalities and inequities, and can actually jeopardize the long-term support of communities towards marine management. This realization sparked an idea. Could we account for these trade-offs earlier on in the planning process? And with the support of the Blue Communities Program, this led us to create MAPTA. MAPTA stands for Marine Planning Trade-Off Analysis. MAPTA is an online participatory tool for assessing the acceptability of trade-offs in marine management. The tool can be used by a variety of audiences, such as local communities, marine program management teams and researchers. It affords greater transparency about what and who is likely to benefit from and what and who is likely to be negatively impacted by proposed management interventions. Our vision for MAPTA is to support the development of marine policies and management that can achieve more sustainable and equitable outcomes for all stakeholders and the marine environment. User-friendly, accessible and low-tech, MAPTA can be used with the data and resources that are available to you. It has been crafted to lead stakeholders through a step-by-step -step journey. Each step contains a different activity, from defining a proposed intervention, to identifying the habitats, species and people likely to be positively and negatively impacted by it, and considering the distribution of costs and benefits across ecosystems and stakeholder groups. The tool encourages users to evaluate the synergies and trade-offs arising from an intervention, explore the acceptability of foreseen trade-offs, and develop response options for any unacceptable outcomes. The tool is highly visual, allowing trends and patterns to be easily observed and fully interactive, allowing multiple participants to contribute. Stakeholders can move around the tool, add text, drag and drop icons, and even vote on key points. It is fully representative and inclusive, giving stakeholders the freedom to voice what matters to them and kickstart thinking about taking steps to avoid unacceptable trade-offs and ensure fairer outcomes. The tool was both intuitive and fun to use. It opened my eyes to the needs of the whole ecosystems as well as the other stakeholders. I now have a much better understanding of trade-off and realize there is value in working together to assess their impacts. The beauty of MAPTA is its versatility. It can be used by any stakeholders in any coastal community to explore any intervention in any ocean. It can also be used offline, just using pen and paper. You do not need to be connected to the internet. We know that engaging stakeholders from the very beginning of the design of programs and policies is key for successful and fair, transparent decision-making. MAPTA can facilitate constructive dialogue between stakeholders. It can also facilitate discussion um, about contentious or complex issues. And it can also foster collaboration between those stakeholders. MAPTA is the first online interactive tool to facilitate a participatory approach to assessing the acceptability of trade-offs and finding more equitable and sustainable marine management solutions. There is potential for the MAPTA tool to be piloted, adapted and adopted more widely and used by a range of people working in marine research, planning, management and programming. Interested in using MAPTA in your project? Head to the link to get started.